back to the old so-and-so. So today, I want to make a shelf that goes up above my door. Um, so, first thing you need to do is to measure your door, including your trim, okay? And I like these little bitty measuring tapes because it's a whole lot lighter and easier on me. So we have our measurements. So we're going to write it down, 37 1 16. Then we're going to measure our piece of wood. And my suggestion to you is to come off a little bit from the sides, on both sides. Because you have to make room for your corbels and just a little bit off to the side. So the first thing you need to do after measuring your thing um, is measure your board and divide it in half. So I've got my little mark. And then I personally <coughs> took... 37 and 1 16th and divided that, okay? I set that down and it added up to be 17 and a half or 18 and a half. And this is terrible, plus two lines because I forget what it is after that far. So I added two lines. Then I took my corbel and I put it on the end and marked it from both sides of the corbel. I hope this is making sense to you. And then let's go outside. Okay, because I've already put one on just to make sure I'm doing this right. So let's see if I can take you and this and get out the door without breaking the glass. Here we go. All righty. Now, let's see. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. Let's see. No, you cannot, so you got to go back a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, I've done all my measurements, and um, mine goes this way. This is up against the wall, okay? So, I took my lines, and I measured it, and then I took my measuring tape and made sure I had the same distance from here to here, and I marked it on both sides, okay? And then I just lay it down, just like that, okay? Making sure it's even with the back. And then I pre-drill the holes. Just putting them in the middle. <sighs> then I've got my holes and I want to pre drill into my corbel here. So, can you see the holes? I'm just literally going right beside the hole. call it out and put my other watch and call it in. Making sure it goes the right way. 
Now, let's put these screws in. Sometimes it's kind of hard where you don't get it in there crooked. Slow and easy wins the race. Now, I want it to come out just a hair. Now, is this the right way to do it? I don't know. Am I an expert? No, I just want a shelf made. <laughs> Making sure I put it on here right. I don't go all the way through just yet. Making sure I'm lined up. drill a few holes in the back so when I put the screws through the top and into the door frame I don't want it to split now let's get that center dot since we already have that and I'm gonna go all the way through. Since it's kind of toward the edge. Okay. And then I want to do a few more, but I'm hoping to angle it. Let's hope. I don't split it. Okay. Take my little whatchamacallit out and put my other whatchamacallit in because I'm going to need this when I go back inside. Okay. Now, <laughs> here we go again. Let's see if I can do all this. All right. Back inside. Set you down, making sure I don't <clears throat> knock the glass out of my windows here. That'd be bad. Okay. Now, alrighty. Can you see? I know you love all this moving around. Are y'all sick yet? <laughs> to like fit it first. Alrighty. And maybe I'll get some screws while I'm at it. And then I think I'll set that there. Here we go. It's like I'm hoping my calculations have worked out well, can you see? 
Just getting that hole started. Making sure. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Now, to the next one. Sure, I don't split the wood. Oh, gosh. Woo that's heavy. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay. Now, up and down, up and down. I've had my exercise for the day. Do one more and then I will be happy. Making sure. idea what I want to put up there. I think I need to wipe off a little bit, but it's not too bad. What do you think? Let me show you the other one. I did that this morning. Thank goodness I did that before I did that one. It made it so much easier. So much easier. Okay, well, now I gotta clean my mess up and decorate. I'm trying to think, what would I like to put on top of that shelf? I kinda want to, I kinda wanna thin out some of the stuff that's over there because most of that stuff was in the kitchen area, so I just want to kind of thin it out. Um, I might take down that uh, the chicken coop because over those doors, I had this sign, and I really like this sign. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been to Bucky's, but I got it at Bucky's, and this was 70 bucks, so 
I like it, it's rustic looking, and so I kind of want to use it again. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned a little something. I hope um, that my instructions were understandable. Yeah, there we go. But the main thing is measure. Measure your your door frame from the wood to the other wood. Write those down and then measure your wood piece. And then you can kind of get the half of that and you know, blah, blah, blah. I think you guys probably understand. But anyway, I hope you've had a good day. I hope you've enjoyed this crazy woman. <laughs> with <laughs> drill bits and stuff like that. So, have a great day. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, bell notification. Don't forget to share. So, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.